Okay, so here we have f of x equals x plus 3 times the square root of x plus 4 times the cube root of x, and we want to figure out the value for f prime of 64. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite this. So I'll leave the x alone. Well, the square root of x, we can write that as x to the 1 over 2. And then the same thing for our x, uh, the cube root of x, we can write that as x to the 1 over 3. And now I'm going to take the derivative, and once I take the derivative, we'll just plug in our value. So f prime of x, well, if we plug in, uh, excuse me, if we take the derivative of 1x, um, we just get positive 1. So the 3 comes along, the derivative of x to the 1 half, the 1 over 2 comes out front, we leave the x alone, and then we subtract 1 from our exponent. So 1 half minus 1 will give us negative 1 half. And then, okay, so the derivative of 4x to the 1 3rd, we'll leave the 4 alone. The 1 over 3 will come out front. We'll have x. And again, if you think about subtracting 3 over 3, because again, we're subtracting 1 from our exponent. So if we do 1 3rd minus 3 over 3, that'll give us to the negative 2 thirds power. And before I start plugging things in, I usually try to rewrite things. So this would be 3 over 2. The x to the negative 1 half we could put in the denominator as x to the positive 1 half. This would be 4 over 3, x to the positive 2 thirds. And again, usually um, if I have to evaluate things, um, I don't know, you could rewrite these as square roots if you want to. Um, I guess it's kind of a matter of, uh, of uh, how one feels comfortable. And again, we could rewrite this as the cube root of x squared. Okay, so to evaluate this, um, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to plug things into this last step. I'm going to plug things into the second step, and it's all equivalent. Um, but just to compute it, I'm going to use this version, and I'll show you why. So uh, when we do f prime of 64, well, we get 1 plus, and suppose maybe you didn't have a calculator to do this. Maybe, you know, if you were sitting in some classes, may, may not let you use a calculator. So you would have 64 to the 1 half, and then we would have 4 over 3, and then we would have uh, 64 raised to the 2 thirds power. Okay, so, well, we get 1 plus 3 over 2 times, okay, 64 to the 1 half, usually people on that part, they're okay. Well, that just says the square root of 64, which is 8. Um, sometimes people will get a little stuck evaluating 64 to the 2 thirds, but we can rewrite 64 to the 2 thirds. We can rewrite that as 64 to the 1 third power, and then all of that squared. Okay, because again, if you put it in uh, brackets or parentheses, the exponents get multiplied. Okay, well, so this is 3 over 16 plus 4 over 3 times. Well, the cube root of 64, again, we're raising to the 1 third power, so we're thinking, what's the cube root of 64? Well, the cube root of 64 is just 4. 4 times 4 times 4 will give us 64. And then that's still being squared. So we've got 1 plus 3 over 16 plus 4. Well, let's even, okay, so you could uh, square this now. So, okay, so what I'm trying to say, so 64 to the 1 to the 2 thirds, you can do 64 to the 1 third squared. 64 to the 1 third is just 4. So really we have 4 squared in the denominator. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply it out. Um, I was kind of stopping for a second because, well, I saw this 4, so really we could go ahead and just cancel some stuff out. But whatever, it's fine the way it is for now. Uh, we can simplify it now instead. So 3 over 16, well, 4 over 16 is going to reduce to 1 fourth. So that would really leave us with a 1 over 12 in the denominator here. And yuck, okay, so just some fractions. I guess we can, uh, you know, get common denominators here. So let's see, so this is 1 over 1 plus 3 over, I'm going to write 16 as 4 times 4. And then uh, 12, we have 4 times 3. So I think to get a common denominator here, um, we'll have to multiply by a little bit, a few things. So I think our, our uh, 
the smallest number that everything's going to go into, um, we would need a 4 times a 4 times a 3. So 4 times 4 times 3 over 4 times 4 times 3. So I'm getting common denominators uh, for the first part. Then we have 3 over 4 times 4. Well, to get a common denominator, I'd, I would have to multiply top and bottom by 3. And then for our last fraction, 1 over 4 times 3, I guess we would have to multiply top and bottom by 4. All right, so let's see. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 3 is going to be 48. So we have 48 over 48 plus 9 over 48 plus 4 over 48. So let's see, what does that give us? Um, so I guess 9 plus 4 is 13. Uh, 13 plus 48 is going to give us 61 over 48. And I'm pretty sure that's not going to simplify any further. Um, so that would be our final solution in this case. Uh, F prime of 64 would equal 61 over 48.